well. Look at all the mud. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm uh, currently an hour away from Lake Ilden down here in Victoria. Um, I've somehow managed to get onto a ride with um, probably the two biggest uh, adventure bike YouTubers from Victoria, which is kind of cool. Um, but yeah, so I'm only going to be riding one day and then I have to head back anyway because I unfortunately start work tomorrow. Oh, sorry, on Monday. Tomorrow's Sunday. It's a decent drive from where I live, so it's about three and a half hours, but um, hopefully it's good riding. It's supposed to be absolutely pouring with rain uh, the whole of tomorrow, so that'll, that'll make it fun. Well, after quite a heavy night of drinking and a late one, I'm up doing a little bit of filming. Most of us are asleep and a select few are trying to get a KX 250 started. Kawasaki uh, pit crew. Pit, pit, pit stop. Yeah, Look at this, Ains representing AMX. Old mate riding with Tom there. He's on the 790 right now, but he brought his two his two bikes and we've got Nerv Nerv's bike here. He's packed up a bit, I don't know what he's doing, if he's coming riding or not this morning. But he's got his new Tenere there. I've brought the WR and my other mate has his freshly rebuilt I think early 2000s KX 250 two stroke. And his girlfriend's there taking his DRZ. So it should be good. Let's see what happens today. Here's a smoky two banger. Oh! So we've got Lizzie up front here. That's uh, Ryan's girlfriend on the DRZ400. Woo! Fucking hell. <laughs> That's uh... Yeah, that was intense. Right now we're making our way to a flat, dry part of the lake just to do a few practice loops with uh, two of the team who um, don't have that much experience. Lizzie, give us a, a twirl. Look at all the mud. Yeah, so as you can see, not going too well right now. Lizzie's come off twice or so into the mud. Um, and French Ryan over here had an altercation with the rut. But then things went pretty bad for French Ryan. He came off and did some pretty serious damage to his wrist. At the time, we didn't know how bad, but um, right now we know he has to have surgery and he's fractured two of his bones in his wrist. <laughs> Your mates. Uh, Is that, who wears his water? Sorry. Uh, Mate, let me take this glove off for you. Now I didn't have um, really strong painkillers here, just the normal Nurofen and Panadol, but we drugged them up anyway to try and relieve some of the pain. Here, wait, hang on. No you haven't. It's okay. Well, 
Murray Sunset Lip, how to use this, and again, how to use it. Better to have it than not, even though you can't really do much with uh, a broken fucking wrist. Well, what a stitch up. This, uh, we're supposed to just come down here to let uh, two of them who haven't ridden before, obviously on road, but just never off road, let them try it out. But um, that kind of went badly. Ended up stacking it into a, there's like a, uh, a stump and um, just went straight into the stump with his wrist. He's, yeah, he's in pain. So my mate Joel gave me his rear spring, which was a, uh, I think nine and a, nine kilo. Um, just to try and see what I thought. And uh, so, yeah, it's pretty damn good. So now I've bought my own. I'm gonna ship that back to him later. And uh, the nine kilo rear seems to suit me fine. It's just in between that um, point where I can run a lot of luggage and still have enough to play with for the um, sag, but I can also adjust it so that it's alright just for my body weight. So it's a good mix. And then that, uh, that rain I was talking about, that decided to come along and just dump a whole lot of water on us. I was saturated. Um, I think from when it started to rain, it was only about a minute down the road to the campsite, but I'm telling you, yeah? I was drenched. Uh, and here Tom's sacrificing himself for the good and allowing me to go sit under my gazebo while he waited for the rest of the team to come back. Great start to the, to the day. Wow, from bad to bloody worse. What is going on? Woo! Mm -hmm. 